Hello there, you're watching Dansky and this is the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the width tool in Adobe Illustrator. So I've created a new document, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And when you're using the width tool, it allows you to adjust the width or the thickness of a stroke at a particular point. So any stroke or outline that you have in Illustrator, whether it's something you've drawn with the pen tool or a circle, square, polygon, any shape, if it has a stroke, you can adjust the width at predetermined points. So for example, if I select the ellipse tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a circle, and what we'll do is we'll use the scissor tool here, that's under the eraser tool, and we'll just click a couple of times to snip, make a few sort of snips there, and we'll just pull this segment out. So we have a circle with a segment missing. Now I'm actually going to select this shape and from the stroke panel, just increase that stroke weight. So we'll go for about 20, I think. And you can see it's all the same 20 point width all the way around. And with the width tool, we can select this, select the width tool over here on the left. I'm using Illustrator CC 2017. And let's just zoom in a bit. And with the width tool, we can hover over any point along this line. You can see there is a plus symbol next to our arrow. And I'm going to start up here at this very end. Left click and just drag either upwards or downwards. And you can see it adjusts the width in real time. And again, we can zoom in on this other end here. And with the width tool, if we hover over this point, we can see we get these two little anchor points either side. And we can click on either of those and again, adjust the width, make it wider or narrower. So we could bring that to an absolute point like so. And we've created something like this. And we can even select everything and from the stroke panel, select round cap and it will just nicely round off either end of the shape. Now this is going from thick all the way through to thin, but we can actually adjust this as much as we like. So with the shape selected and the width tool selected, I can click anywhere along this shape so we could go right in the middle and we'll make this super chunky. And then this top one up here, I could bring that back down and we'll zoom in on this other one. And we'll try and widen that out. It's a little bit fiddly if you adjust it to a an absolute point. So you might need to zoom in a lot more to just be able to increase that again. But you can see with that nice round cap, it just rounds off the corners. And you can quite literally do this for any point in your shape. We can go from thin to thick to thin. <laughs> you can actually go as crazy as you want, really. So there we go. That's how to use the width tool in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.